cool, calm and connected, Volkswagen's Tiguan continues to be a global SUV market leader and the subtly enhanced version of this second generation model brings this winning formula bang up to date. There are smarter looks and an improved media package along with extra technology and efficiency. Plus the range is now widened to include PHEV power and the Tiguan R performance flagship model. There's a classier cabin too and as a result this car feels just that little bit more complete than it ever did before. So welcome to this improved version of the second generation Tiguan, the stalwart of the school run, the 21st century idea of the uber complete family car. A typical customer won't be looking for anything particularly dynamic behind the wheel. He or she will more likely prioritize refinement, comfort and a little surprisingly, if the sales numbers are to be believed, four-wheel drive. Around 75% of Tiguan folk order their cars with the four-motion system. We've got that here fitted to the volume 2 litre TDI 150 PS model and that can be had in lots of flavours with or without this DSG Auto gearbox and with or without four-wheel drive. Uh, both features are mandatory if you have this engine it's more potent 200 PS form. Either way it's a much improved unit uh, with almost everything about it redesigned and VW's latest twin dosing tech fitted to it too to make it more efficient. The result sees WLTP readings that see this 2 litre TDI model with 150 PS uh, DSG and 4 motion uh, able to return up to 42.8 mpg on the combined cycle and up to 173 grams per kilometre of CO2. If, rather understandably, given the current zeitgeist, you don't want a diesel, there are lots of alternative petrol options. Volkswagen's usual 1.5 litre TSI unit comes in either 130 or 150 PS forms, and there are three versions of the bigger 2 litre TSI unit, all paired with DSG automatic transmission, allied to four motion four wheel drive, and putting out either 190 PS, 245 PS, or in the case of the new top Tiguan R performance model, 320 PS. Perhaps the most interesting version in the range is also petrol powered, the Tiguan e-Hybrid. This is a PHEV plug-in model uh, featuring the same petrol electric setup long used in the brands Golf and Passat GTE variants. Uh, that means a 1.4 litre TSI petrol unit is paired with a six speed DSG auto gearbox, an electric motor and a lithium ion battery. This one 13 kilowatt hours in size, enabling an all electric driving range of up to 31 miles when it's fully charged. Whatever Tiguan engine you prefer, a really dynamic driving experience won't usually be on the agenda, but there's lots of clever tech, including on the pricier models, the brand's latest travel assist system, which can take over partial control of the car to make highway and urban driving just that bit easier. Volkswagen's head of design, Klaus Secura, describes the look of this updated second generation Tiguan as confident which is probably a good way to describe what's on offer here. As before, there's a choice of this standard five-seat body shape or the seven-seat all-space version. It's the five-seat that's our focus today. It's certainly an intricately fashioned thing. It's cut like a diamond with super sharp creases and slashes, and it makes a little more of a school-run statement than it did before. Mainly here at the front, where this wider redesigned grille with its extra lower chrome strip forges a visual link between the Tiguan and pricier Volkswagen SUVs such as the larger Touareg and the huge Atlas Cross Sport model sold in North America. The side profile is much as before, emphasised by these rather unusual double character lines. It's from this angle that you notice that this Mark II model is larger than it looks. It's more of a rival to upper mid-sized SUVs like Ford's Cougar than to smaller mid-sized models like Nissan's Qashqai. At the back, changes to this updated model are very much of the detail kind. The Tiguan lettering, for example, is now in a more conspicuous central position just below the VW badge. More important, though, of course, is the stuff that you can't see, specifically the stiff and sophisticated golf-style MQB platform underpinnings, which lie beneath the precise and carefully contoured lines. Well, it's certainly difficult to fault with a premium style feel that you just don't get from cheaper mid-sized Qashqai or Attica style models in this segment. You sit quite commandingly and as before, the build quality and the general ergonomics are difficult to fault. 
Changes made to this updated model include the introduction of illuminated touch sliders for the fans and temperature control and there are big improvements in media connectivity too and that's thanks to the incorporation of Volkswagen's latest MIB3 technology with this central screen here normally 8 inches in size uh, as here but upgradable to 9.2 inches on request either way you get an online connectivity unit with an integrated eSIM that allows access to a whole new generation of in-car connectivity through Volkswagen's WeConnect media setup. The three-spoke wheel is new too, and through it, from mid-range trim upwards, you'll view this customizable Digital Cockpit Pro 10.25-inch screen, which replaces the conventional dials. Finally, let's take a look out back. Now here we've got a powered tailgate, but most variants, even the priciest ones, have to do without that feature. The hatch rises to reveal a spacious boot, which with the seats pushed right back like this is 520 litres in size. If you push that rear bench forward, you'll improve those figures to 620 litres. With the rear seat totally flat, up to 1655 litres of space can be freed up with the conventionally engine models. And providing you avoid entry level trim, you'll get a feature that's now rare in this class, a fold forward front passenger seat. So really long items like surfboards and ladders can be transported. In summary, what ultimately matters is that this product is good enough to meet its wide ranging and very difficult brief. It says a lot that there really is something in Volkswagen's claim that, to some extent at least, this model has subtly redefined what a car of this kind should be. We can't pay it any greater compliment than that. Thank you.